Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, to Tony Jammat. Jar Jarrett, Jarrett, Tony, Tony Jarrett, yeah. Well, yeah, I knew Tony Jarrett. He, he was a member of our club. <laughs> yeah. We want some more. Oh, eh, uh, what, what, what can I say about... Here we are, here we are, we're in Inch and Damp Hotel in Sutherland. This is our caving area and Tony Jarrett used to come up here, bloody English cavers, they come up here, they, they would dig holes and they would dive things and they would find things and they would survey things and photograph things and then piss off home. It's not good enough. Tony Jarrett is responsible for more discoveries in this area in the last 10 years than any of us. And he's from Mendip. But I tell you this, he was a loyal Grampian member. He regarded Scotland as almost another home. And everything that Tony did up here as anywhere else was precise and well thought out and superbly documented. I hate the guy. He outcaved, out photographed, out surveyed and out published anything that I ever did. So what can I say about Tony Jalla Jarrett? Um, Tony Jarrett was just one of the greatest guys I have ever met in British caving circles and I never expect to find another character like him. He was the greatest. I can say no more and I'm speaking as a mega being. Tony was a super being and long live his memory because he'll never be reproduced by anything else ever again. Fabulous. Goodbye Tony. Always difficult this, uh, this is for Tony Jarrett. He was a, a long time mate. I was asked by several people to write uh, obituaries, uh, and to be honest, I did write an obituary, but so many people have published an obituary that mine didn't get published, which is perfectly okay, because I never really finished it anyway. So, so I thought what I'd do is recount our last, probably our last proper caving trip down together, which was the, the sort of connection from Rana to Clare Knight, which after a typical piss up in Assint, uh, we were, we ended up down Rana, just the two of us. First thing we did was an upstream dig where we set off a bang underground as you do, um, working on the theory the fumes might just go out. Um, it was a misfire first, so it was the usual typical bit of a cock up, you know, and then we kind of sorted that out and then went in there and sorted that out and did a bit of exploration. And then we went downstream and we put in another bang and and off we go and we're clearing the stuff out <coughs> and what you know taking it in turns to clear the stuff out at no time we were aware that there was a pitch underneath us as we're digging this stuff out and all of a sudden tony who's, it's his turn he's digging it out and the whole world disappears out from under his ass as these things happen to do and he's doing a starfish impression <laughs> across this rift and i at this point i invoked you know rescue procedure number one which was laugh like fuck as you do, you know, <laughs> and then you sort of drop the end of a rope down towards him, you know, and I, I kind of sort of, you know, so he clipped into that and then cleared out the rest of the boulders, you know, of course this was the thing, 12 years of digging, this was the big moment where, you know, he thought he made the connection, so he had his SRT kit and down he went on this pitch and, you know, down to the bottom and, you know, as happy as Larry, I mean, you know, just J-Rat, you knew, you knew what he was going to be like, you know, so, 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 you know, and he came out and I was just doing the, all I could do was sort of rope protector and, you know, and sort of, you know, a bit of encouragement and all the rest of it, and you know, he came and he was convinced he was into Clare Knight at that point, and of course the following day he was absolutely into Clare Knight because he connected it through to Belhaven. You know? J-Rat always used to say, his favourite saying was, Whenever anything went, you know, he always used to say, ah, oh, top men at their craft. And I'd just like to say, you know, I've known maybe all the best cavers that, that there have been, and Tony Jarrett was the absolute top man at his craft. And that's maybe the best thing you can ever say about anyone. You know, there's a million memories I could have of Jarrett and a million breakthroughs, but, you know, that's kind of it, really. You know, that was the last one, and, you know, and... Uh, and that's it. What can you say? Cheers, Tony. All the best, mate. Oh, yeah, it's. Uh, I first came up here. It must have been sold it in two thousand one. Must have been 
was up here about six years, so it would have been 90, 96, 97, and the first, first caver I ever met would have been Jay right, when he came in back bar. And I quickly learned he was uh, quite a character in the, uh, the GSG, one of the, one of the leading characters. And uh, I think one of my first memories of him was uh, when he came into the back inch bar just after, after the day up on clay night. And he'd come in and uh, he started at one end of the bar about lunchtime. And he'd worked his way up to the far corner of the bar by about tea time. And by this time he'd run out of tobacco. And he asked me, uh, have you got any, any tobacco for sale? I says, I says no, but this is, uh, I says, why don't you roll what you've spilled? And that, that six foot of bar surface, he must have had, he must have had a 50 gram packet of tobacco spilled all the way along the bar. Missed it when he was rolling. <laughs> I just thought, you know, and that's one of the first memories I'd hear at, and I thought, come on. And uh, the other thing, the other class one I remember, right, was that it was a dinner up uh, West Coast with the Cunt and Western team. Everyone turned up in sort of tartan shirts, cowboy boots, you know, the uh, the typical Western outfits, and J Rat turns up in a, a Somerset smock with a hat and a bit of a straw in his mouth going, <laughs> You know, it's country and western, you know, it's, like, you thought, it's not country, it's like cowboy, he just... I mean, he was a character, he's just, I mean, he was one of the, one of the greatest blokes I met in this bar in here, and he, 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 he was probably one of the, the main reasons for me getting involved in Cavan, to be honest. I, he was a hell of a bloke, him and, and Jake as well. You know, they, they were... When I, if I was serving them and I was talking to, talking to them and that, that's where the interest for Kevin is. That, that's probably what kicked me off. And I think he'll, he'll be sadly, he'll be sadly missed and he'll, I'll always remember him. Because uh, he introduced, he introduced me to what I enjoy doing now. And he is to him. I, I'll always remember him. <laughs>